The soon-to-be Saint John Paul II is much loved in Ireland. When he visited the country in 1979, millions flocked to see him and three cities honoured him with civic awards, including this one, Limerick. Here in Limerick, we're very specially associated with John Paul II. He came here, he spoke to 350,000 people here in Green Park on October the 1st, 1979. And it's a wonderful occasion to remember it. And also the fact that he was conferred with the freedom of the city, the city of Limerick. But in this year of culture, where Limerick is a national city of culture, I think it's very fitting that we celebrate Pope John Paul II. He was a man of culture. He loved the arts, poetry, drama. And so he said us something that was very significant. He said to us, remember to keep your contact with the land. And, uh, and with culture. And for him, that was a way of saying the whole cultural heritage, heritage that we have, keep in contact with it. But also, and this is a point I think that's interesting, build it up. Because here in Limerick, the church has really contributed, I think, with all the limits that we have, a lot to culture. We have beautiful exhibits in the Hunt Museum, such as the O.D. Crozier and Mitre. But above all, let's remember, for centuries, we've been celebrating Mass. Every Mass is actually a moment of making culture because we, our lives, get transformed. So John Paul II, I think, wanted us to recognise we have a contribution to culture. He wanted us to strengthen it. And he pinpointed three ways. One, we've got to keep in contact with the, as it were, original fire of the Gospel because without that, we won't contribute to culture. Secondly, and this, I think, was very substantial, he really emphasised, more than anywhere else in Ireland, the importance of the lay vocation. Because that in our day, in the modern world, it's complex. We now, with the Gospel, have to transform politics, science, medicine, arts, education, the whole world of culture. And lay people are the ones who are going to do it. The third point, he then referenced in particular the family as an agent of culture. 